so I wanted to make this video because a young man down in Georgia who was innocently jogging lost his life. He was murdered doing his everyday routine. He probably went for a jog every morning and one day someone just decided to murder him because of the color of his skin. And I know that this was down in Georgia and in the US and I don't want to say that racial prejudice um, can be worse down there. Well, it can be worse down there, but it's not worse down there. Um, they're, they're just, um, I guess just outed for it a lot more. Because up here in Canada, apparently we can do no wrong. Um, and I just wanted to say, I just wanted to share... Um, a recent experience of mine. This happened not even a month ago. Okay, um, it was like a weekday morning. Okay, it is 11 a.m. It is 11 a.m. It's laundry day. My roommate comes back from taking out cash near the convenience store by the laundromat. She comes inside and she's like, holy, like there's two, <laughs> she said there's two Karens fighting, like, just one's yelling from inside the laundromat like it's insane 11 in the afternoon and we don't think anything of it we're like okay um we like finish breakfast or whatever and then we go to the laundromat as per usual as people do to do their laundry obviously and we're walking and we're like da 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 walking and this lady she looked like a Karen like this lady she comes up to us and she was like frazzled like she was in this dress and she comes up she's like oh my god oh my god just to let you know there's black people in the laundromat and they're not social distancing and for one this lady walks up to us she is not six feet from us and there's three like white people we're three white people and she went oh my god and she offers us five dollars she takes out a five dollar bill and she's like please I will give you this five dollars she's not wearing gloves she's not wearing a mask I will give you this five dollars if you go in and put my laundry in the dryer and we're just kind of like in shock like what's happening and I'm just like I'm not dealing with this I'm not dealing with this racist lady so I, I go inside we kind of ignore her and she just sits in her car she's like then we thought that we were like okay that was weird and we're sitting in there and there's this family of three I think there was like a grandmother a mom and a, ch a child a literal child like a 10 11 year old child okay and we're like what the so we're putting our laundry in and this lady comes in again she whips open the door and she starts like yelling she's yelling you want social distancing me, 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 me. and she's going off she is screaming like she is yelling and she is verbally harassing um this the one lady um the one um mom the person of color she is verbally harassing this family and I am not I am not exaggerating when I say that because she's like I called the cops like fuck you like you meh like that is you are not following the law like she's just making up these dumb things meanwhile okay the laundromat the hallway's like this big you have to like shuffle to get past them so obviously I we are supposed to show social distance, but it's kind of hard when you're kind of kind of meh. But I use I use one of the washers closest to the family just to flex on her and be like, no one cares. No one cares about your racist opinions and whatever. So, like, she's like, oh, can you get my laundry? Like, no. No, we're not getting your laundry. No, I'm not helping a racist lady. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she goes in and then she comes out and then she... What does she do? She starts taking a picture of their license plates. Of their license plates. After screaming that she called the cops that they weren't social distancing, she takes the pictures of their vehicles. She's taking pictures of them. And this 
this is when I was like, no. I go outside and I am like, you don't take pictures of people's vehicles. I straight up was like, that is inappropriate. What are you? Oh, they're not, they're not social distancing, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, you just tried to give us $5. I was like, they're not social distancing, but you're being racist. Like, this is not about social distancing. This is about your prejudice. And I called her out on it. And I just like, she tried to talk and I just shut her down. I was like, no, no, stop talking. No, no. And then she like got in her car and like backed up. Like she just moved spots in the parking lot. She just backed up. And I stayed at the laundromat just because if the cops were coming, I wanted more than just her story to be heard. Because you never know with the justice system and like, you know, cops, like they're not always fair. Um, yeah, so she's screaming and like she's taking pictures and stuff and I'm talking to the family, like I'm talking to the mom and I was like, I am so sorry this is happening to you, like it, this is ridiculous and she's like, don't worry, she's like, thank you, I, I deal with this every day. Um, turns out the mom um, was a frontline healthcare worker she did blood work she was a nurse and she was telling me her she was like no happens every day at my work as I'm cleaning them up as I'm changing their bedpans as I'm like giving them fluids they're telling me to go back where I came from go back to Africa and she straight up was like I don't know where Africa is <laughs> she was like mm -hmm. I am um, she's like I'm black and I don't know where Africa is like I've never been there right and I was like yeah I'm like that's ridiculous and we're just keep talking and the daughter the daughter she yeah 10 or 11 like looks at me and she's like I feel like this lady has something against black people and I I didn't know what to say I was like yeah some people are just stupid there's just some ignorant I forgot what I said, but I tried to be like, there's dumb people, right? Um, so I hang out with the kid while um, the parents are folding the laundry because the lady keeps coming in and out. Like, she keeps coming in and out and, like, verbally harassing the mom, being like, yeah, like, the cops are on their way. I hope you blah, blah, blah. And she's complaining about not social distancing, but this lady walks in to the laundromat she struts into the laundromat for one she looks at the family like dead in the eyes and like deliberately like honks and like locks her car like three times right in front of them when she's complaining that no one's social distancing she squeezes past them like she's not social distancing her own self but yet this is this is her motive was that this family isn't social distancing and that's why I'm angry and there was no one who could convince her different even though like it was blatantly and she would continue to scream and she would continue to da 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 and then she'd run outside and would sit in her little car and the mom was even like yeah she she says that we're not social distancing but she does this and she was like before you came here she actually shoved me she pushed me on my way and I was like she pushed you like yeah, she pushed her, like, no one else, there's me, I am white, in the laundromat, and there's another white person sitting over there, she's just observing, she's just like, what the fuck is going on, like, everyone's just like, what is going on, so, if that wasn't enough, the owner comes, okay, the owner comes, and he's like, in the back of the thing, and she's like, marching, she marches, meh, 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 she marches, and she's like, these people are not social distancing, blah, 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 and she goes off, and I've had enough of this lady, like, it has been, like, half an hour at this point, where she is just non-stop, so I go to the back, I interrupt, I'm like, hey, yeah, no, she's just being racist, she's just being racist, this has nothing to do with social distancing, she's just being racist, and then the, the owner uh, looks like he's gonna have a mental breakdown, because he's like, what the, like, what's happening, she touches me, she touches me, puts her arm back, no, no, and I'm like, look, I'm like, you see, she's not social distancing me, she's basically touching me right now, look, 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 and I'm like, whoa, bah. and she's like, bah, this doesn't concern you, go away, like, shut up, this doesn't concern you, 
And I said, it concerns me when I see racism in my community. The minute I seen that, I am instantly embalmed. And I am instantly, like, this, this whole thing concerns me and involves me. And I told her that and the owner was like, you, I have it, but you need to go sit down. It's fine. I'll talk to you after. And we're like, so I go back down and sit with the girl and the family's like, thank you. And I was like, like, don't worry about it. Like, I am so mad. Like, I was fuming. They were handling it. Like, it was nothing. And I'm like, no, nah! like, I'm like, gonna lose it. I was shaking. I was shaking because I was so mad. And it's, I'm like, after, I'm like, I, I didn't think people were like this anymore. And I can't wait until you don't have to deal with this. And the, like, the daughter was straight up like, I can't wait for the future. She was like, I can't wait for the future. And it just broke my heart. Like, this girl is like 10 or 11 years old, and here she is. Like, I don't know. I don't know what day it was. Like, a windy day afternoon, just trying to do laundry innocently with her family. And this is in Canada. This is in Alberta. This is in Edmonton. Um. And it just blew my mind. I was like, I can't believe I am actually, like, seeing this. So, yeah, and she was like, no, it's a horrible day. She's like, the kid's like, this is the worst day, a bad day. And I was like, it broke my heart. And I was like, what? I was like, it may be a bad day, but you're going to go home and you're going to have so much fun. It's a nice day. And I just started talking about that because I didn't want her to remember this as the day that someone harassed her while she was trying to do laundry. I wanted to remember it as the day that the, I don't know, the blue-haired lady sat down <laughs> next to her and talked to her about dogs, because we just talked about dogs, um, and, like, bikes and, like, skateboarding and stuff. But after she had the conversation, yeah, no, we're not done yet. We're not over yet. After she had the conversation with the owner, she comes, like, marching down past her. She's like, meh, like, she's obviously, like, <laughs> I am not lying or under exaggerating what is it or, or exaggerating when i tell you that this woman was unhinged like unhinged and i have to sneeze okay anyways yeah woman was unhinged and she leaves like she storms out of the place and she <laughs> cackles like a witch like we we're all like in shock as she walks out and she's like <laughs> she's screaming like literally cackling and we're all like Whoa. the daughter she's like she sounds like a witch and I was like yeah she does and she's crazy like she's like I hope you're ready to be on Facebook see you on Facebook and like she starts in the parking lot jumping up and down we're all like watching her out the window and this lady is jumping up and down and flailing her limbs and like dancing and she's like wow like see you on Facebook I, I hope you want everyone to see that you're not social distancing so, nah, I'm gonna make so much money blah like seriously like five minutes straight she's dancing like flailing her limbs doing jumping jacks in the freaking parking lot screaming screaming at this family not at, not at us not at the other people that were any of the other people that weren't social distancing in the laundromat she was yelling at this one family and then she gets in her car and then she literally like skirt, like she skirts right out of there like screaming and laughing and it's not even, it's not even, like, one in the afternoon yet. Anyways, that was my experience at the laundromat. Um, I stayed with the family um, until that they were done their laundry so that they could go home. And I was like, no, like, I'm staying here because if she comes back, like, it's me and you. It's me and you, lady. Um... But yeah, just be aware because this stuff's in your community. You, like, probably, since everyone, you know, people are in their own little zones when they're out and about, but it's like, so many people miss that 
like stuff like this happens in their own city and it's like if we were in Canada if we were allowed guns like like America she could have easily easily ended three lives there that day and that's tough to say and it's tough to really put that into perspective but it's true if she was unstable enough she could have ended three lives that day easily and it's like what would have been done you know so it's like look out for each other like <laughs> protect each other like don't pass by and wave off racism because it's not your problem like kind of is your problem just because it doesn't affect you like that this whole thing did not affect me didn't affect me I could have walked away and just continued with the rest of my day I just did not feel right doing that being able to see that and being like this is happening like everyone has to stand up for that kind of stuff like I can only imagine how tired people who experience racism are of defending their existence like this is just a straight up family trying to do the laundry at the laundromat that's all they were doing and this lady harassed them for a good hour, at least. So, don't turn a blind eye, like, just because we're not America. <laughs>